AT gun's still alive though. Panzer III's attention's on the Greyhound. Drops smoke. Needs to turn. Greyhound is not done yet. Hello everyone, I'm Grayshot17, and today I'm covering a 1v1 in Company of Heroes 3. We got ourselves El Grand Eagle versus Flaxen Ant. Um, this is just a 1v1. I want to make, uh, I have a number of, of Co3 games I mean to cover, but Hoi stuff has been taking my attention, but no longer. I shall now be covering your games. So, uh, let's get into it, shall we? So, El Grand Eagle building some cover. We got down we south, we got some... Uh, <clears throat> engineers moving on in. And again, you got some Panzer Pioneers. Alright, so a dock versus a USF. Now, which, which, uh, what, what commanders are each of these guys going? Well, already we have Italian combined arms. So we have some Bursaliri, uh, making their way onto the field. And we got a motorcycle team. So all good there. Now, uh, if you have a replay that has uh, any number of tactics, please submit it to my Gmail or Discord down below. Greatly appreciate it and thank you all for your kind support. Again, following me on Twitch, subscribing on YouTube, however you want to support me is greatly appreciated and I thank you. Uh, make sure you also like the video if you like the replay so that way it supports uh, the video and allows others to see other people's games, not just the high level competitive guys. So, we got Pioneer pushing back the Panzer Pioneer, but we have Burst Leary swinging around and makes the Engineer retreat. Not, not nicely done. Now, uh, Motorcycle Team is making its way over to this front to quickly grab that territory. Alrighty. So, right now we got another person, uh, sorry, Burst Leary on the field. Flaxen Ant is going with multiple riflemen. Are we going to see something like bars or anything like that? Again, with the most recent patch, the Air Force has been pretty prominent, but... In a 1v1 sphere, that might not be as prevalent because, again, you want to make sure that your upgrade's going to bars and other things like that. And most likely, they're going to be more separated. So those amazing strikes and bombs may be a lot harder to nail when the enemy's always overwatching their front. But we'll see. Rifleman pushing on in versus Larry coming in for two angles. Versus Larry are weaker than Rifleman uh, normally. But if Rifleman are running out of cover, then you got yourself a shot. Greetings, Galvai. Hopefully you're doing well. Rifleman come on in to assist, but the motorcycle team, and again, remember, it provides assistance when it shoots. So, the motorcycle, if we can switch over to Elgrand, provides, uh, let's see, here we go, tracer marking. Takes about one, but essentially can weaken a position in which the, the enemy is behind. So, it makes it easier to single out guys in heavier cover. So, stronger infantry, uh, maybe a, this American Rifleman, will be easier to push back. Now, as the motorcycle team deals with the engineer, the uh, Panzer Pioneer and the Bursalieri easily deal with this stuff. But, uh, uh, unfortunately, he's a little stuck on the truck, so the flamethrower might burn him alive. It probably will. Oh, man, he is on fire, and there he goes. Unfortunately, the engineer are going to have to retreat, but the rifleman will still try to fight. Uh, but, yes, Chad, I'm, uh, I'm going to the Caribbean. I'm going to sit back, enjoy... Um, uh, most likely a chocolate mudslide on the beach. It's gonna be great. Cannot wait. Uh, not a, a, not someone who's a heavy drinker, but uh, you know, it, it'll be just nice, relaxed on the beach. Luckily, there's no possibility of any severe weather popping up while I'm there. So, you know, happy about that. Anyway, hope hopefully not. Uh, but it, I am excited to just sit back and relax. But I'm gonna try to get as many replays as I can while I am gone, so that way you all. Can have a good time and enjoy some good co content. Uh, meanwhile, we got Rifleman pushing on in. Again, moving. Uh, is he getting upgrades by chance? Let's see. Flax and Ant. Uh, let me double check. I have to go to the building. He has not. Wait, required. Oh, he hasn't even gotten the base upgrades yet. That's why he can't get the next ones. Makes sense. But who needs uh, firepower? We can just blob up a bunch of guys and have the MG open fire. All right. MG suppressing the blob. Uh, they're separating, so at least they don't get all chained. But again, fortunately, it's still leaving that squad pinned. Uh, although the rifleman might try to flank. MG's gonna need some support. Luckily, Burst Leary are slowly coming on in, though he needs heals. And fortunately, this base doesn't necessarily provide heals. Uh, for the dock, you need to pretty much get this medical truck, bring it on in, and use that as your healing station. It's essentially equivalent to the ambulance from Co. 2 or. Um, I guess the medics from uh, the uh, the British. So, 
We'll see how that goes as the American forces do capture a good amount of territory. Not victory points, that's still pretty much dead in the water. But hey, it's still doing something, right? So, we got ourselves a Bursaliri blob now coming back. Now, do the Americans have an MG? I don't see... Oh, they have a mortar. That's the support equipment they have. But I'm not seeing any MG. So, right now it's going to be a real tough fight. Especially as the Bursaliri get more men and increase their squad size. And eventually get themselves some additional... Weapons and those are the Breda model 30s. Those are pretty damn powerful and again can be dropped So if you can get lucky enough, maybe you can grab one, but for the time being uh, Neither side has any uh, adequate fire support in terms of uh, additional LMGs for their men right now. They have to provide support and it doesn't look like the Americans getting any support anytime soon will most likely while putting up a decent fight will be slowly overwhelmed, but he might try to grab the, the point in the meantime Desperately holding on to the last man. He tries valiantly to get the victory point, but is unable to. Luckily, he does decap it, so that is actually still putting pressure on the German player. And is still, slowly but surely, losing the victory points. Uh, German forces try to grab that territory. Uh, MG is, again, backing him up. Firstly, they are using their speed, but at this point, I get what you're trying to do. Knock out the mortar, but after that... Uh, running! Running might be a good idea, as the American forces charge in to open fire and uh you essentially have half the support and about a quarter of the health of a normal two squad so yeah now it's time to run like hell mg's gonna try to suppress but it's too much and he's gonna need to pull back one lucky grenade oh is he still fighting god that they have like 44 health they have less than 10 percent of their health and they're still fighting it out el grand eagle you should not have won that but it is amazing that you did i will give you that a desperate maneuver manages to hold the line as troops slowly grab territory. And instead of getting medics, no, we got us uh, troops meant for close range. So again, assault grenadiers are pretty potent. Uh, but the only catch is, well, simple fact, that uh, they don't have AT per se. And you don't really have AT at all. So if, let's say, Flax and Ant per se were able to actually be able to bring up some decent firepower... Via some light armor. Uh, let's see. He doesn't have that. He has medical station. The only, I mean, I guess the 4x4 four four would be the only light armor he could theoretically get. He has the fuel for it, though. 161 fuel. I would use that. I I would absolutely use it. You, now you can say gray shot. What would, you, what would you get? Uh, Greyhound. Okay, there we go. He's getting it. A Greyhound is pretty potent, uh, I, in my opinion. At being good against light armor and also infantry. So that's what I would possibly get to, in order to try to combat a lot of these Bursaliri. Because that's the thing they lack is any sort of AT. They're very exceptional infantry, especially once you get up, you know, slowly but surely. But that can slowly cost them as they fight armor. But here comes their Bredas as they overwhelm the Americans who are lacking that firepower now to be fair flax and ant is most likely trying to go up slowly but surely and wait for additional support but it's it's fine it's like he's trying to go for other things rather than just bars and i get saving that fuel but i think that would have really helped out his infantry and his three rifleman squads can most likely easily hold back those bretas now the, if they get two bretas that's a different story but for right when they just got the upgrade bar against them i still think rifleman could go toe to toe so Elgrain is meanwhile just grabbing territory along the side, just decapping. Not not too shabby, all things considered. And again, he's just going to hold up and try to grab the territory. The American player is moving on in, though, doing his best to counteract. And again, let me know, guys, what you think about the additional um, uh, the additional names. Does that help out, especially when I'm switching between so many players? I feel like that helps. But uh, let me know. Ooh, grenade! Uh, and he retreats. All right. Burst of Leary, managing to hold the line. Uh, actually, pretty solid stuff right there. Pretty good. Again, uh, it doesn't take a lot of men, but a few Valiant men holding the line with a couple well-placed grenades seeming, uh, or sorry, seems to do a very good job at keeping the Germans back. So, excellent job right there. But again, uh, what will happen if, as soon as that blob heals up? Because again, it's just going to be on the move, right? Sorry, just checking one thing real quick. Someone just messaged me. Do, do, do. Okay, I should be good. Perfect. We've lost the territory sector. All right, back to the game. The Americans are pushing north. 
uh, most likely to counteract that a uh, very annoying half track <laughs> that's slowly grabbing all their territory now again in this sense yeah there's a lot of forces and also now like greyhound a little bit later than i would have probably expected especially because he has so much fuel i feel like getting it out sooner would have really put the edge against the dock uh meanwhile el grand eagle still doesn't have at wait hold on that's not right that's not right yeah that's a bug um but he still hasn't gotten any armor for himself. He still can't get armor. Now, he doesn't have a lot of fuel, but he can easily get himself a Martyr 3, um, an 8 Rad, you know, a Stug. Uh, okay, maybe not that Stug. Maybe maybe that Stug's not the best against armor, but still, he can at least get some things in order to counteract it. But I, mm, it's still going to be uh, an interesting uh, unit for him to deal with, especially if he gets some additional weapons to make him better against infantry. But let's see. And again, the higher he gets in terms of veterancy, the better that thing is going to be. And if he could just quickly kill a half track that slowly seems to be surrounded by infantry that does have grenades. Hold on, let's check. Do you have grenades, good sir? Ah, yes. And pl plenty of grenades. So they have him surrounded, they snare it, and then the Greyhound can kill it. So grenade is thrown, he is stuck. Or the rifleman can just shoot it to death. That works too. Oh, no. Greyhound's like, my kill. Nice shot. American Infantry coming on around. Hopefully to finish off those assault grandiers. We have First Leary coming on in. But, like I said, uh, this thing, again, has some armor to stand. And also is pretty good against fighting infantry. Although, in theory, I would hate to be the guy, sh like, on top. Because it's like, one good shot and I would just fear being, like, absolutely annihilated. But, whatever. Uh, jokes aside, Greyhound is doing work easily, uh, just smacks about the Assault Grenadier. I would focus on this unit because this unit is buying better cover, so both of them are providing the same amount of DPS, but you can easily fight this one a little bit more. Or kill for the Engineer with the Flamethrower. That also has a high amount of damage, but not exactly a lot of health compared to the other forces. So they're focusing on it. Oh, there's the Martyr 3. Again, he missed the shot. Greyhound now trying to pull back. Almost gets vet one through the initial engagement. Uh, we have still that MG guarding the VP in the south. Luckily, the American forces know about it, expect it, and are flanking it. So, excellent job right there. Uh, or at least, I hopefully they're flanking it. it. Looks like they were just going for the territory. Damn it. Flaxen, I was trying to give you some credit, but whatever. All right, Elgran. What else are you getting? A stew? All right. I mean... The Stug has changed since the patch. Uh, again, it's turn rainy stuff like that makes it a little bit more susceptible to enemy Hellcats or uh, like other ve essentially like vehicles that can just go round and round in circles around it. Crusaders, again, other things like that. So, oh, and we also have SSF Commandos, which are incredibly powerful. These guys will absolutely mount. Now, again, you want to stop. Maybe. Moving them behind cover. Also dodge grenades, which looks like, you no, know, you just walked up on. But yeah, they will melt with their weapons. You need to be very cautious. Nice grenade on it. It's stunned. If I'm the Greyhound and I can go for that target, if I can get one more snare on like I would have gone in. Because it's stunned. It's hard to move. Going from the side, because this thing it, it isn't exactly known for very good rear or side armor. And you can take it out. That's a nice, easy kill against the dock. Meanwhile, the commandos are just annihilating those... Oh, look, again, I think it was white phosphorus. Damn. Wearing down the infantry. This man's about to walk into the smoke. Uh, fun fact, don't walk into white phosphorus. He may be uh, in for a real bad time. Looks like we are receiving some support from the American player. And this, in turn, is from the... Let's see. The airborne one. No, no, sorry, airborne. Sorry, special ops. Because he goes down here, they have resupply. Sorry. Uh, air resupply drops on in because uh, and you can get some uh, additional weapons, for equipment, stuff like that. So not not bad. So not bad at all. Again, for a... How much is that? 180 munitions? And essentially you get an AT gun, the machine gun, and also some fuel. Not bad. And again, I, I don't know why this player needs fuel at this point. Seem to be doing pretty good in that department. Uh, I feel like armor would be very good. Now, to be fair, uh, also maybe a weasel earlier on would have especially helped against the German player. Also, at this point, you have uh, maybe use that fuel to provide some assistance for your 
Rifleman. But this is also where we're seeing like a, a little bit of a counter to last game where we had this big, you know, infantry army of elite, was it Vermok, I believe was the player. He had Vermok, uh, yes, it was Vermok. But he didn't have armor because he was lacking fuel. Here we have the opposite. We have Flax and Ant having the ability to get armor. Uh, and again, having those reserves, but choosing not to instead of uh, putting all of his efforts into the American forces. Now again, having this big of an army is a big manpower drain. So you want to be very cautious with how you fight. A T gun is fighting off the Stug. MG and stuff like that is keeping the burst lyric from pushing him too much. A T gun, one last shot. Hold on. Come on, Greyhound. I mean, this thing, it, yeah, great front arm. Sorry, great front armor. Not so great back armor. Come on, A T gun. Martyr three is outside of range. Nice mortar hit. Come on, A T gun. Uh, AT gun. What are you doing, AT? Oh, he's trying to pathfind its way through. Damn. El Grand Eagle being very ballsy right now, but that would have costed him if the AT gun. Come on, AT gun. Get one good shot. Oh, get a snare. Come on. Take the shot. No. Oh my god. Nice attempt with the flank, but he just is like fuck the rock and goes straight through it, managing to hit the Greyhound. The munition point has been decapped. Now, luckily, the American player still has so many men that he's still able to grab some territory. So he's still moving. Might be a bit of a tough fight without some bars, but again, if they use the flamethrower correctly and hit up with two angles, should be fine. Uh, we got ourselves another martyr being deployed. Makes sense. You want to, you know, back up your infantry army with two solid AT guns and then have the Stug there to fight off infantry, provide that initial support. It makes sense... Why Elgrain is doing that because he doesn't have the fuel, right? He doesn't have a lot of resources uh, to divulge to. The only thing he had upgraded was the survival package, so that provided this with a bit more health. Um, so, yeah, you know, not too shabby. I think it's what, 80 health, I think. Uh, 80 health for this, and then I think it's 80 health for the um, emergency repair kits. Still, at least I'll make sure it sees that one extra, or to, sorry, takes that one extra punch in the fight. Meanwhile, the American player, again, I'm curious to see what he goes. In this situation, uh, in my choice, Sherman might be something that you would be like, ah, yes, or Sherman. D I, I wouldn't. The, uh, I would go with a tank destroyer because you can use the speed boost of it to ring around the rosy with these guys and just blast them with riflemen going in, AT grenading them, just pulverizing them pretty damn quick. Plus... There, there's the other thing that Flax and Ant could do. He could go Calliope. Not the biggest. I mean, like, in this situation, the Calliope's. I'm sorry, Whizbang. I keep saying Calliope. Whizbang. Uh, the Whizbang's fine. I'm not saying the Whizbang wouldn't be. But the problem with the Whizbang would be the fact that really the main threat for, for you is more the armor than necessarily the infantry. The infantry's tough, but you have. If, in a, a concise battle, you have. The tools and everything necessary to take it out. It's more the armor that it's like, uh, how do I necessarily deal with all of it? Alright, riflemen are being suppressed. We got them moving on in. American forces uh, pulling back, including the AT gun, which will allow the, the Burst Leary to fight, un uh, fight unopposed, especially if the Stug comes in against the remaining riflemen. Greyhound gonna try its best. It up to vet one. You could unlock Seek and Destroy, you know, or unlock Spotter. Whatever the case may be, I personally maybe Seek and Destroy might be better. Especially given its uh, current stance of more hit and run. But here comes the Martyrs. They're pushing on in. They're trying to go after that Greyhound. Again, they have infantry backing him up. But is it going to be. But again, it's one of those aspects like, again, solid infantry, solid defense, solid cover. So, all in all, good work with the Doc player. I, sorry, I also love these little things. Even though they pack a hell of a punch. They're really not little, but still. Alright. Well, right now we have the Bursalary fighting the MG. Again, if I'm this guy, I would separate them and hit them at two different angles. He didn't do that. The MG would manage to hit them. They're going to pin both of them and force him to retreat. So... Bit of a misplay by El Grand, but I understand he wants the VP. He wants to make sure he stops hemorrhaging because the American has two victory points. Although this other position was only guarded by an engineer, and luckily the Bursalary was easily able to deal with that. 
Meanwhile, the Stug is trying to smash the Engineer, but alas, that turn radius again, as I mentioned earlier, is starting to bite him a little bit. SSF Commandos moving on in against the MG. Starting to light up the MG now, uh, but the Stug scares him off. What are you build? Again, builds a Sherman. I would not go with a Sherman. I think I would go with the Hellcat. It's cheaper. You can get more of them. And again, your main threat is not the Bursaliri. It's the Martyrs. It's the Stug. And uh, whatever else the German player decides to bring on out. Uh, what does What is Elgrain going to bring on out? Well, armor-wise, I don't think he's going to go Mass Caro. That would be hilarious if we saw that again. But I haven't really seen those other outside of... Well, outside of certain 1v1 plays. Again, I... Caro could be good in this aspect for providing a little bit of fire support against infantry if you just wanted that. But I feel like a lot of people prefer the, the Stug D because of its uh, additional armor and such. So, here, there's the Sherman going on in. So maybe if, if he continues, maybe the Panzer III. If he, and that way he can maybe also just continue on with the build and try to get something bigger like a tiger or something again the fuel kind of says no to that stuff as well so we'll see what he does he could just hold reserves for the time being unless he loses something and easily pops out another martyr or stew meanwhile flamethrower is burning the uh rifleman man these commandos are doing their best eight kills so far sherman gets blasted by the martyrs mortar actually gets a solid hit all right guys i found the new at gun it's the american mortar uh, or just get the American AT gun. That's probably a good AT gun. As you can see, almost kill, uh, brings it down. One last shot would kill it. Come on, AT, take the shot! Or are you gonna be outside of range? And you probably can't see right now. Luckily, the MG is gonna suppress the engineer squad. Uh, hopefully, Christ can cover for the AT gun to pull the back. Greyhound as well could go in for a flank if he wanted to and hit this thing from behind. Get a great shot. But alas, he's staying back, holding the position because Flax and Ant. His whole objective is to make sure the victory points slowly go down for the Allies. He does not want the American to regain that initiative, which makes sense. All right. Again, uh, the German player is having a real rough time bursting his infantry. Either maybe another Stu D. Worst case, a Karo. Or maybe something a little more potent like a Panzer III. Whatever you end up getting, you need so something else to fight that off. But we'll, we'll see what he decides here. Actually, you know what? If he goes this and then goes with the Pact of Steel, that would reduce the cost of the light armor. So that would make it cheaper for him to in order to get this stuff or in order to get another uh, Stug or something like that. Rifleman, whatever. I'm just saying he should probably burn through the rest of his um, abilities. Similar to what the American went. The American is saving up to where he has P47 strafing runs. Has he... What What did he pick? He went mechanized support. So he has the ability to heal back at his base. All right. And to also, to be fair, if he wants to, he can make sure the Sherman is, you know, a little more uh, juicy with the 76. Has a bit more armor. Maybe some special weapons. You know, all sorts of stuff. Definitely more costly. But he has the fuel necessary, necessary to invest. Manpower-wise, again, because of his large infantry army, is where he's maybe lacking a little bit. But... Sherman is repositioning. We have the Greyhound as well. So he has some good, solid overall, like, Jack of all trades stuff. But he yeah, needs something. Again, I feel like he needs something to fight this stuff off. But that's just me. All right. We'll see what he plays. Again, he has another SSF Commando. Uh, so, again, if he uses that correctly and manages to overwhelm the infantry and manages to pull that Stug away, he could absolutely overwhelm a lot of these German infantry. Army size, we're looking at Flax and Elgrand. Wait, hold on. Are they exactly the same? They are exactly the same, but again, the infantry wise, I think the American has a slight edge. Especially because of the fact he can snare. And he got bars! I almost forgot, he got bars. He did lose a rifleman, but you know, it's fine. He got another, he got a stronger unit, technically. Alrighty. So Engineers grab territory. Oh, my phosphorus on it! All right, there we go. I mean, okay, it's a Willy P grenade, but you you, you get the you, you get the you get the point of it, right? So, anyway, Stu D is uh, trying to figure out what to do. Finally, is able to see hits the S uh, the S S F commando. I can't say that five times fat five times in a row. I would just lose my mind. But he's gonna run like hell. 
Get out of there. Make sure he does get annihilated by the Burst Leary. Sherman is going to cover him, though kind of misses that initial shot. Engineer grabbing that territory. Again, maybe get that nice little 50 cal. He did get it for the uh, Greyhound, but no upgrade yet. A little shocked by that. Whatever the case may be, what is Elgrand's next armored unit? Oh, he did upgrade. Okay. So he did go for that. And said he went for air support and artillery support. They, I mean, they have been upped, but as you can see with this artillery cover, a bit more expensive. A uh, bit outside of his uh, economic feasibility. Uh, he's investing in those munitions. He could call him the strafing run. That does hurt armor. But again, it's... I, I feel like... Oh, and he got tungsten rounds. You can tell because they're glowing. But again, uh, the problem I have here is the fact that if he was trying to save cost, I guess he is just going for a Panzer III. Which, again, very good against infantry, nothing against that, but it does kind of persuade him against maybe other units. But again, lack of fuel is probably the biggest issue he has. Rifleman pushing on up. Stug about to pounce on him from, from above. Uh, does almost nothing. Okay, Stug, let's try that again. Chop, chop. Okay, Stug, I think your pencil's doing more, but hey, at least you scared him off. Good, good, good job. AT gun has been decrewed, but again, Versalieri taking heavy hits. Although, Vet 3, looking at the kill counts, 23, 26, and you know what? He's the odd man out of the group. Meanwhile, Flax and Ant uh, with the American. Again, solid strategy so far in terms of bringing down, uh, again, bringing down the VP slowly but surely. Uh, let's see, what's his best unit? He has 16 kills. Rifleman now of 18 kills. And uh, 12, you know. And plus, we got the new guy. Greyhound with a solid 10. So, again, doing some solid work. Might try to blast him on the retreat as well. They're very low on health, so one or two more shots. Yep, can't even remove a model from the field. Almost gets two. But alas, not today. So, they, at least they have both the victory points again. The uh, Elgrain is fighting desperately just to hold on to one. To do or die as he's about to lose that advantage he's built up for so long. Now, American uses engineers quickly uh, and cheaply grab that uh, AT gun. Do we have another armored vehicle in production? No, not really. But he has 500 fuel, but the manpower is where he's really draining. Again, just kind of goes to show. Oh, wait, mortar? Uh, okay, doesn't do much. MG suppressing. Uh, throw the Willy Pete! I need you to throw- Oh, I did throw Willy in time. I'm also a little shocked that we have not seen bazookas. Just, just something to kind of come on in and just hit one of those guys from the side. Maybe he has used it, i just not seen it, but... A little, something a little curious. Uh, mortar, maybe unsung hero. Her armor and infantry. Uh, managing to almost kill the MG. With 13 kills. All right, Rifleman runs like hell. A T gun is prepped and ready to fire, though. As long as it has sight, uh, it maybe. Oh, it actually does get a side hit. Good for him. Sherman, though, being pounced upon by the two martyrs. Uh, Greyhound is also pretty weak, though. Gets up to vet too, so that helps it a little bit. MG uh, putting some shots on that dude, diverting its attention. But the armor is going to try to escape through this narrow passage. We have no allied infantry to support. But again, same thing with the German infantry. They're nowhere support. They're not even close to this armor. So I feel like the first one who kind of moves in with some solid infantry would be the one that would have a bit more deciding factor. Because you could snare it. You can hit it with AT. Bazookas. 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 Also, white phosphorus round if you don't want to be shot. All right. Switch to bazooka. I mean, you're still doing damage with bullets. Let's not get into that. But there we go. Get some good shots on target. A rifleman as well rushing on in. He, instead of going with sprint with pour it, makes sense. Suppress the infantry when you're in one-on-one -on -one engagements. But can they take on this stew? Come on. Oh, come on, rifleman. Damn it. I think they both went. Yeah, they both went poured on him. Not bad. Again, it's not a bad a sh it's not a bad ability. Oh, gets it. But again, unfortunately, it stops this situation from a stew just slowly escaping. Bazooka fires! Oh, so low on health. He's down to 56. 
All right, Rifleman engaging. Again, they're trying to get that Stug. Again, just like the Sherman and the Greyhound earlier. Use that narrow passage around the edge of the map to escape. Versal area holding firm. Sherman now upped with a 76. He's going hunting. And I think the Stug is done. He stopped when he shouldn't have. Wait, hold on. Maybe he stopped when he should have? We got one martyr coming on in. Again, white phosphorus shot would stop that thing from being able to effectively counter the Sherman. So you could use it. That's why I always get your upgrades. Eight nice bazooka shots and a snare. Martyr is hit and damaged. Victory point. It is now against Flax and Ann as the German player. Hold on. Is he? No, no, I'm sorry. Flax and Ann is grabbing the territory. Never mind. I was like, who, who's getting it? Maybe the one directly in my face. Oh. All right. Again, no AT for these guys. So they're essentially just uh, annoying the Sherman rather than hurting it. It's going to take the Martyr and a Panzer III. Finally, moving on in to actually combat this armor. But again, with that Sherman 76, it's going to be a... Hold on. Martyr with it might be able to help. And puts him... God damn. Puts him down. My phosphor shell would have helped so much there. AT gun moving on in. We got Greyhound trying to go for a quick kill as retribution for his friend or not. Hold on. Where's the other martyr? Oh, it is barely alive back at base. Yeah, this thing is dead. Get him, Greyhound. Get him. And he, look, he went seek and destroy. Huzzah. Putting down the unit. Oh, nice strafe. Hurts a lot of the infantry. Panzer three is maybe able to kill that AT gun. Uh, Greyhound, uh, as much as I want to root for that, Greyhound, uh, get up a real rough time versing that thing. Especially when it has additional penetration. Oh god, and health. Don't forget about the health. AT gun's still alive though. Panzer 3's attention's on the Greyhound. Drops smoke. Needs to turn. Greyhound is not done yet. Flax Ant's going in for the kill. Oh, it's so weak. Go, baby, go. Oh my god, the it bounced off the rear. No, take the shot. And the Greyhound defeats a Panzer III. That's that's a mighty Greyhound. And kills the MG for good measure. Wine. Oh, no. The Martyr's coming in. No. Okay, it's barely alive. Get out of there, buddy. Get out of there. What a... What, a, what an epic fight. I will absolutely take that. Sure, I mean, the Sherman you vested more in. But, like, a Greyhound killed a Panzer III. The mightiest of mighty Greyhounds. Love it. Absolutely love it. This thing is an absolute badass. It has earned my, the seal of approval. Uh, but, yeah, no. I that, that thing was epic. Oh, my God. So, uh... Meanwhile, El Grand Eagle is probably just shocked at what transpired. He is now losing this game. Uh, he is... Let's double check him real quick. Uh, yeah, he... He has a... He doesn't have any support anymore. He lost the MG. He doesn't have any AT. He's about to lose the Engineer. So, uh... Luckily, they're automatically healing by themselves. I mean, they still have one other one. I'm oh, sorry. What am I saying? That was his. Well, that's a brain fart. Okay, they killed the American engineer. My God. Okay, sorry. I need a, I need a moment to breathe. I, you need a moment to run. Maybe grab the bread and run. There's a bread right there. Just, just run. I wouldn't fight. I would run. Uh, all right. So anyway. Now that I've gotten to my senses, Flax and Ant, the American, has enough very easily. Oh, nice pick! I think the Pinto got that. Oh, whoever got it, nice kill. You can pick up the 1941, I guess. But anyway, uh, wait, that leaves just one rifleman and one SSF commando. That's two American losses right there. Hold on. Flax and Ant might have actually lost more than initially. And he must have lost his AT gun, too. Hold on. Hold on a minute. I, I think... 
I think we could see a bit of a turn. Uh, there's a man stuck on the stew, so glad to see that return. And the unit just died in there. So, oh, he's just burning it for good measure. I don't know what Floxian's doing, but he so far lost his main advantage being his infantry. Um, and that, again, nice grenade, mortar fire hitting it. You need more infantry, buddy. But that's where the Fox Sand's really struggling. Meanwhile, El Grand Eagle managed to get another, uh, get the Martyr healed up. Stu gets barely alive. Greyhound going in again! Oh my god. But the great, but this time you have this and he's stuck behind good cover. So he can't get, I mean, he can, he can fire from behind, but it would be a real tough fight. Is he can destroy to use that speed to get the hell out of Dodge. What a fight. Stu gets super low and... He did... Oh, my God. Both sides are just taking heavy infantry losses. But, like, Flaxen, you need to actually have an army. Uh, you have this bread... Uh, the American is just like, there's too many guys that I need to pick up and take. It's ridiculous. All right. Okay. So, we got a... Okay. So, we got a Hellcat. That's... Uh, okay. That's a good pick. That's... And, again, you can use a free... Flanking speed, um, that's what the Greyhound, uh, kind of got, so you can destroy it, but it also provides speed boost, but, you know. Uh, the point is, you can use that against him. Just don't charge with the Martyr still there. What are you doing? What is this guy doing? Oh my god, the Hellcat's like, oh, this game's easily won, right? No! Oh my god. I, at the very least, he killed that unit. I... Both guys are down like five actual units in this game. They're both just throwing bodies at each other. They do not care at this point. The problem is the German player, aka Elgrand, has a slightly, slightly better army. And I say that because he has a good army that again of armor, whereas the American player, while he does have some AT, really doesn't. Really lacking. Has lost all but one frontline infantry. He still got his mortar. But, like, you're fighting a Stug, a Panzer III, and a Martyr that all can automatically heal and get better. I, I, I'm i just questioning. Yeah, I th look, I'm not saying this thing is not Chad, but this Chad Greyhound can only be a Chad for so long before it's beaten. And... Yeah, please. I mean, it's like 30 health left. Get that man some heals. Which I don't think he can. Can he heal? Am I, am I insane? Well, there goes the rifleman. Oh, no. Panzer three Might sense blood in the water. Oh, right. He can heal in the base. And there he goes. That's the end of the game, ladies and gentlemen. That is it. It is over. Elgrand won the match just a solid performance by him overall uh if i if i had to give some just helpful critiques other than the fact it just kicked me out of the game so awesome job there if i can give some helpful critiques on that match i would say the uh, the the flexin ant should have gotten more armor and he should not have dove in the hellcat if he would have stayed back with his armor and would have supported that greyhound i he could have absolutely won that game I feel like, again, both sides were just chucking units at each other and should have preservation should have been more key. But I feel like the American preservation uh, just went down a, a, uh, a lot faster than the dock one. The dock, again, you invested a lot to get that Panzer III and that eventually did pay off. But, um, yeah, it, it's like that's the counter. is like you get a, a, a better unit than, let's say, a Karo. But the Karo, you probably could have got a lot more for cheaper. Take that for what you will. And again, maybe more guns could have helped counteract that the Greyhounds like focus on like, all right, kill one unit, kill one unit, kill one. It's if instead of I have so many units, you can't really do that. You can't really gang up on me since there's so many of uh, of those forces. But what do you guys think? Again, sorry I couldn't look at the after action report, but let me know what you all think of that match in the comments below. If I especially if I do put that in YouTube. It's been Grayshot17, and I'll see you guys next time. Hello, everyone. This is Grayshot17. And before y'all go, let me give a special shout out to Patreon supporters Joey G240, Malam, Big Cooch, Afaria, Ace, Pyroshark, Tony B95, 
Epic Pleb, thank you all for your incredible support in helping me grow my channel and support my channel and everything I do. Thank you, and to the rest of you, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.